Hello, this is Major Garner, and today we have an unboxing video. And it, a game I ordered off of Amazon, special edition. So, let's get this. Well, the boxing for this is a little bit unusual. There we go. Ah, man, that was difficult. So you're probably wondering what this is. Well, this right here is the limited edition for Toho Genso Rondo Bull, um, Bullet Ballot. Um, so this trenches you probably never heard of Toho. Uh, wouldn't be too surprised. Um, it's it's a series of game made by this one person back in 1996 named Zune, I believe that's pronounced Z U N. Um, he's been making these uh, games since. Well, he didn't make this game, but um, the original games he made um, was back in 90, 1996. And he did 15 entries, and he did the art, music, and the programming all himself. And these games became a very huge phenomenon in Japan and other parts of the world. And we got a pretty crazy fandom thanks to that. Um, and speaking of 1996, Toho has been around for 20 years. Pretty sweet. Um, and what's actually nice about this game right here is the first time we're actually getting an official localization that isn't a fan translation, that's more or less the only way people were to play them was to play them importedly or have a patch to um, a patch to play them with translations. So we finally got a Toho game, finally. After all this time, and in time for the 20th anniversary. Pretty crazy. Um, the a lot of the uh, Toho games, or uh, a genre known as Bodel, um, they're usually top-down. You're playing a character, usually female, flying through and shooting magic projectiles. And it's called Bullet Hell because there's bullets everywhere and you have to dodge them. And it's pretty crazy. Um, and over the years, there's so many characters that were created that um, I don't think too many people can remember all the characters' names on top of their head. At least I don't think I've met anyone yet that could do that. They probably exist. Um, I know I can't. <clears throat> Ooh, some really nice art on here. Um, so NASA or Na or NIS America um, localized this game, so. Uh, Thank you for bringing this over. Finally, um, yeah, I got I got this off of Amazon and the beauty because I, I had access to Prime. I was able to save ten dollars ten dollars off my purchase. So instead of paying fifty for this edition, I paid forty something. The regular base game is thirty dollars, so it's twenty extra dollars for the extra stuff. Uh, we got an art book here, really nice. Done. Really nice. Oh, I don't want to flatten that. Oops. Oh, so also, I oh, uh, anytime a special edition comes with an art book and it's in hardcover, that's always a plus with me. Let's see, um, the game right here. Oh, um, that's right, it came with, um, I think a little post-art cards. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The 
side track disc. Um, we got we got the game, and then the voucher code. Which I have to. Sorry, but I don't want people to use. Well, probably by the time I have this uploaded, I'll probably have the code redeemed anyway, so. Still, better safe than not. Alrighty. Really nice art, um, art box with this. Lots more than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah, the uh, a lot of the tower games are pretty hard, like brutally hard, even on an easy setting. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, they make all kinds of uh, fan works uh, for for this franchise. So that basically, is kind of dominated by the fans, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Okay, I don't think that was anything important. Oh, huh, no, um, booklet. Oh, yeah, yeah image of the disc. Uh, that's one thing I kind of miss um, about getting physical games is they used to come with an instruction manual or booklet, but um, if they do, it's just usually a two-piece of floppy paper. Uh, yeah, now it's like, oh! If an instruction booklet, you put the disc in or download game and you look through the menu thing and you have to look at it online. It's a, it's a bit weird. Oh yeah, I also recently gotten um, Hot Steam Me Too Project Eat X for the PS4. Um, got that GameStop, um, got a poster and a little pouch for like glasses or something of that sort. Interesting. Alright, so... Oh! 25 tracks, nice. I don't know if this is the complete soundtrack. Chances are probably not. But, one can never hope. Um, I do have a Japanese profile account on the uh, PSN, so I have looked. There are other Toho games, at least digitally, I don't know if they are, uh, besides this one. I don't know if they're digitally only, but we'll, hopefully Nasa will be able to localize them at some point. Oh man, these are stuck to... Looks kind of thick. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, these are pretty nice. Pretty nice. And the last blank piece of paper. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything with this edition. Uh, really nice. Um, I'm happy with my purchase. I'm happy that we finally get something to localize by a company. Ah, uh, so great. But yeah, happy 20th anniversary, Toho! 
Oh, um, I guess this... Well, anyway, this is Major Garner. I hope you all have a good one. Until next time. Bye.